Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at logical equivalence using truth tables. So as we've mentioned before, we can determine whether two or more statements are logically equivalent by examining their truth tables. If the two statements have exactly the same truth values, or if their columns look the same for every possible combination of outcomes, then they are logically equivalent. So we've seen this before here where we looked at a statement and it's contrapositive. And because we have the same two columns for those two, we say that they are logically equivalent. We denote logical equivalence with the biconditional arrow as the connector. So let's use the truth tables to determine if P implies Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. So we'll start with P and Q, then create P implies Q, then not P, and then finally not P or Q. So P implies Q we know has true, false, true, true, only being false when we get true, then false. Not P will be the opposite of P, so false, false, true, true. And then the disjunction of P or Q, when we focus on not P and Q, we know the disjunction is true unless both of them are false. So we get true, false, true, true. Now we want to look at these two columns and compare them. If they are identical, then we can say that P implies Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. Okay, let's try that again. Use truth tables to determine if P or Q and not P is logically equivalent to not Q. All right, here we go. We're going to start with P and Q in our normal organized pattern. Then we'll look at the first piece here, which is P or Q. So P or Q, then we'll grab the second piece, not P. Then we'll look at the conjunction of the two. So P or Q and not P. And then finally, we'll create not Q so that we can compare them. So P or Q will be true unless both are false. So true, 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 false. Not P will be the opposite of P. So false, false, true, true. Then Focusing in on these two, the conjunction is only true if both are true. So true false yields false. True false yields false. True true gives us true for our conjunction. And false true yields false. Our last column here, not Q, will be the opposite of Q. So false true, false true. And then to determine if these are logically equivalent, we're going to compare the two final columns. Here, notice that we have different values. We don't have exactly the same. That means that these two are not logically equivalent. So we've put that slash through our biconditional arrow. All right, for our last example, we're going to look at actually one where we have three statements. So we're going to take P and Q or R and try to determine if that is logically equivalent to P and Q or P and R. Now this one's going to be a bit longer. If we have three statements, we first need to figure out what are all the combinations of truth values for P, Q, and R. Again, just like when we created all the combinations for P and Q, P, Q, and R each have two possible outcomes. So by fundamental counting principle, then they, the three of them should have two times two times two, or eight possible combinations of outcomes. So if we sort of extend our normal true, true, false, false to give us four trues and then four falses, and then normally Q is true, false, true, false. So here we're gonna do true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. Then we can let R be True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Okay, so that's all of our combinations in a nice organized manner for P, Q, and R. 
Now let's start to create our statements. So first let's build Q or R. So looking at the Q and the R columns, a disjunction is true anytime at least one is true. So we get true, true, true. Here both are false, so false. True, true, true. Both are false, so false. If we next look at P and Q, P and Q, we'll look at the P and Q columns, and that will only be true when both are true. So true, true, here's false, 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 false. So first two true and then false after that. Next we'll look at P and R. So focusing on the P and the R columns, conjunctions are true only when both are true. So we'll get true, false, true, false, 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 false. Next, we'll look at the full first piece, which is P and Q or R. So we'll focus in on those two columns. And since it's a conjunction, we'll only get true when both are true. So true, true, we get true. True, 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 true. Here we have a false, so false. And then for the last four, since P is false, we will get false. And finally, we'll look at P and Q or P and R. So we'll focus on those two columns and remember that the disjunction is true unless both are false. So true, 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 and then false for the rest of all of these since both are false. Finally, to determine if the two are logically equivalent, we want to compare their columns. Notice that both columns have true, 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 and the rest false. So these two statements are logically equivalent. All right, guys. Well, that does it for this video on logical equivalence using truth tables. To see more from us, keep on watching, and we'll catch you in a future video.